hot water tank is stuck in vacation mode. Superflu model, how do I reset it? Hi, I'm Mike and I have 20 plus years of experience as a plumber. I'll be glad to assist you today. Do you see a switch on the blower on top of the water heater? There is no switch on the blower. Is it intelligent? Hi Mike, my name is XXXXXXXXXX. Yes, it is an intelligent. Good to meet you, Sandra. I am a Canuck too. Sarnian. My husband just wants a hot shower before bed. It should have a switch on the blower. Sure, there is not one. He says no, he does not see one down there. Where else would it be located? I am going to start typing reset directions, so will be five minutes while I type. That's great. Thanks. Smiles. If you find the switch, turn it off for 10 seconds. If not, turn the power up for 10 seconds. Turn the power back on and within 10 seconds hold the hotter slash colder arrow buttons for 10 seconds until the green, warm slash vacation, lights starts to blink. Release the buttons then immediately press both arrow buttons, hotter and colder, again. All the controller lights should come on and the blower, top of the WH, should run. You should hear the gas valve open and the burner ignite. Hang on just trying. The error is usually caused if you have things stacked around it and the vapor sensor sensed paint fumes or got wet or whatever. It is kind of sensitive sometimes. No worries it is taking some time for me to type. Damaged my hand today. I am typing a backup plan just in case so if you respond I might still be typing. Check the resistance of the flammable vapor sensor. It's located near the bottom. It has two black wires going from the controller to it and has a diameter that is about the size of a dime. Unplug the sensor and using an ohmmeter measure its resistance. It should be in the range of 20,000 to 50,000 ohms. If the sensor has been exposed to some form of gas the resistance will be higher over 100,000 ohms. You can try to wear the sensor out by taking it outside for a few hours. Remeasure the resistance again it should be lower. If it never gets lower, and remains over 100,000 ohms, it needs to be replaced. If the sensor has gotten wet it may also be bad. Once the sensor's resistance is in the 20 to 50k range plug it back in and try the reset procedure. If you do not have a meter then go with the second part about airing it out. Sorry you hurt your hand, not fun in your business. I forgot that Reliance serviced the water tank last year and replaced the blower fan, that is why there is no switch. My husband is an electrician so we have nothing stacked around the water heater. All clear and no painting. The vacation switch briefly went off after we disconnected the power and the blower ran for a short time. We heard the gas valve open and the burner ignite. Then the vacation light came back on. I am okay just wanted to explain my slow response. That is what happened during the attempt then? Go with the backup plan. Let me know what the ohms are on the sensor. Maybe it won't have to air out for very long. 
Hi Mike Hubby is just going to check. Had to get his meter out of his truck. Gotcha. So it almost fired then locked out again, eh? eh? It didn't do that when you only turned the power off and on before, correct? Hi Mike we are measuring 20k. That is correct. Okay. Thinking. Do the thing again and the second time you hold the arrows keep holding until the vacation light is not blinking. Mike the vacation light is on steady even when we hold. When holding the arrows the lights do not start to blink. It doesn't happen like the first directions. Mike all three lights were on and the green light two all were steady no blinking. Even when holding them both down? So just to clarify when you did the reset process, holding the arrows down did not start them flashing? But at the end of the process the blower started for a second and the gas valve did some clicking? Did you explode? It is not okay to explode. Yes. Yes you exploded? Did you just try again? Same result? No smile. No did not try again. We'll do so. Let's try the reset again. Leave the power off for 5 minutes. Okay, sounds great. All fired? If it did not fire again then we need to check more things starting with on the blower is a pressure switch with tubing on it. Probably have to remove a cover to expose it. The tubing may be cracked or have debris. Remove the end of the tubing it is hooked to the pressure switch that kind of looks like a puck. Check there is no debris in the tubing. If that looks good then the flame sensor will need cleaning. No, not fired up. Vacation light is still on and does not blink when buttons are held. Wish I was on vacation. Alright well the fault indicates what I said before but really if the sensor tested ok then the fault must be caused by either the pressure switch in the blower assembly or the flame sensor is dirty. You are on a vacation.fr ohm showers. Thanks Mike. Should I call Reliance in the morning? Pretty smelly vacation it is. I think the guest room is in order. Not unless you are tired of trying. We'll get Hubby to try the blower tubing next. Is there a chance the IntelliVent has gone? The pressure switch is easy for the electrician to check out. Handy that he can do that. He can jump the pressure switch too. If the tubing is okay the switch itself may be bad. If he jumps it and it works then we know the switch needs replacing. When you were doing the thing to reset was there clicking from the gas valve like the igniter was clicking? No clicking from the igniter, but the blower did come on. Got to be the pressure switch probably have to remove the cover not on the part that looks like a snail shell but the other part. Hubby is checking it now. Very good. Now it is working? If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.